Hello and congratulations to our early birds. We have Carrie, Karen Hamilton, Mary Stipp, Leanne Collins, Tommy, and Kathy D. Congratulations. Make sure that you um, email me at dearjuliejulie at gmail.com. And so, hello, hello. So, I did find the. Um, If I can find the live chat, I had it. I had it earlier. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Okay. Hi, Big Mama. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome. And so I did find the big book. And so we're going to look through that. And I'm also going to do some embellishments where I, I kind of think <laughs> that I may <laughs> may need something. So when we get to 30 people, we'll do a, a little drawing. And so I'm going to put my little book right over here. Um, I'm also going to add the Red Roses Yellow Birds Digital to the um, sale. So these um, are also going to be 40% off. And so it's an, it, it matches. It's another Red Rose kit that I think will be a good addition. Okay, so Red Roses Yellow Birds has been added as well. <laughs> I found some I cut out some paper clips and some little tiny envelopes uh, yesterday. <laughs> so they're on my desk. Let's go ahead and flip this up so it's out of my way. And let's see, we might have to move, move this up a little. A stampede with the red roses. Yeah, I, I wish. <laughs> I wish. Okay, so let's see. Is it? I forgot that I have the big book to show. I get to see my real mess, you guys. Okay, we're up here. We're up here. We're way up here. <laughs> we're way, way up here. And. Okay, we're having to charge, so we'll have that little bit of milky white stuff right there. Um, that's just the way it is. Okay, and let's get these out of the way. So, hello, Gail. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So, this is the <laughs> extra large. It was a... As you can see, it was a country quilting book. It was in my mom's stash. Um, actually, this one she gave to me. Um, so, yeah. This is a piece of fabric that was gifted to me from Big Mama. There on the edge. Um, this challenge was last year's June Junk Journal Challenge. It was the I Do Junk Journals. And we had to use something old, something new, something lacy, and something blue, and a Dear Julie Julie digital too. Um, and one of the things that we had to do was a collage or clusters on a 12 by 12 paper. And this is one of my clusters. And then this is one of the images. So um, I'm thinking one of the things, I, I, I didn't put a pocket in here yet, so possibly want to do that. This, um, I used the red, white, and blue children and flowers digital, and it does have a lot, a lot of embellishments. So using those, I used the full pages. I used, um, so these, this is one of the actual pages and it was put together with a 12 by 12 
page. So let's flip this over. And so here's the other half of the, or the other part of the 12 by 12 page. And then it had this and that attached to the page so that I was able to put the full page in. Okay. And then I did a flip over flappy pocket and it has this in it. I was able to use a placemat doily. This is a uh, wrapping paper, the, the kind that is folded up. And so that gave me a nice page. Lots of places for writing or adding memories in here. This has some packaging here. And then this is packaging from some stickers. And we've gone ahead and added items to it, including this little pocket that's holding this cute little card. Everything's collaged. <laughs> There's a lot of collage in this one. But that's a, a Dollar Tree sticker packaging page. The little top piece here is from uh, one of the fabrics from Big Mama. And so then here um, we have a ledger and you can go ahead and fold this. Um, I do want to add some signature tie pieces. We have a double um, pocket, double tuck here. Library um, little card there. And this was from a book. It's actually from the quilting book. some stamps. This was actually from the envelope. Remember, this was a junk, just junk journal challenge. Um, we had other things that we were able to add. We made a kit for this one, and then we were able to add the things. Um, I believe this was from the Emeralds Craft With Me from that, in that period of time. Um, there's another little tuck spot there. This is from a Tootsie Pop wrapper. Got a little flip here with one of the little dress. So there, you know, it does have a theme. But this particular challenge, this is dad's bank envelope, a small dad's bank envelope that we um, closed up. Here is a trifold folio and it fits into that pocket. So we did get to use 12 by 12 papers in this. Um, I have this pulled out. I'm going to use it on the inside of a cover. <laughs> Hi Joyce. Hi April. Welcome. Hi Brenda. Let's see who else. Don't think I've missed anybody. If you're out there, this is a live video and there is a live chat. So hit that live chat button. Actually, you, you hit you on the phone. You don't hit the live chat button anymore. You hit the comment area or something and then you're able to come in and chat. So again, this is a piece from the from the book and we used a large playing card and decorated that and I like to use the lace to hold it and keep it from going down further we have this was from the paper pad that I was using and I made this large card <coughs> with more journaling space this was one of my collage clusters time card and a tag. So for this one, I have an eight and a half by 11 paper here and I've attached it to another eight and a half by 11 paper. And so um, if you remember, that was from the cover. 
Okay, so we have that and it's attached to that. That one might be 12 by 12, but I do know that this one is eight and a half by 11. Here I have uh, an envelope. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Ashley, welcome. Hope everything went well yesterday. Um, pull this out and it has some packaging. This actually is not packaging. That is from a photo album. And um, I stitched it because I was gonna lose one of the sides and I just went ahead and collaged on the inside there. And then on this side, there's a playing card that's been stitched and glued. And this is from the Something Special um, digital kit. And it has a library card page. It has the ice coupons. And then that flip flips back down there and it fits into this pocket. And you're able to see through the window, you can see that. Okay, and we have another little cluster here with another piece of the Tootsie Pop right there. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. And I've added a piece here that is a border and it's holding in this collaged tag. And I did use one of the Christmas cards from the Tim Holtz that said wish. And I did make this large tag and it's just the side by side page folded together and then the white part cut off and corner rounded. And I did put a ticket to give it a little tab. Okay, one of my dad's um, ledger, sideways ledger papers. Hi, Darlene, we've missed you. So this was um, some paper, it's a vellum type paper that was in my stash. Here um, we have Oh, you pull this over. So this little envelope is tucked into this little fan and it's keeping this flip up, flip down, which is made from a doily. Um, it's keeping it intact. <laughs> and then up here, we have a time card tag that has no paper on the back and a little, um, another little tag with fun images this is this has one of the stickers from my antique looking sticker set i should be putting those back in the shop maybe after friday maybe i'll have those in the friday fun day i'll have them for sale i have some things that i'm adding to the shop and i'll be showing those on friday okay so this one ended up <laughs> in here it has an index card on a Project Life card. Okay. And this one has some fun little images in there. Okay. And this is a little flip flop using children's paper. Over here, we've got a little collage with a tag and Wanderlust from a paint chip card. This is wallpaper and we have a paper clip over here holding, uh, what all is it holding? It's holding a little flippy tag, note, note paper thingy, okay? All kinds of different note papers with a um, uh, umbrella, <laughs> with a butterfly. I have umbrella on the brain these days. Okay, and then here we have a receipt from the, this is from the bases kit. And then the fan is holding two little tiny cards. Do you guys remember this journal? And then it's got this little card on the back. Okay, here I went ahead and added the paper lace to the bottom so that it would go all the way to the bottom. And hi, Kathy, welcome. 
and we have some ledger here i have the um wrapping paper and i've flipped it up and remember the this paper is not quite long enough to hit the bot to reach the bottom but this paper is so it's glued all the way down but there's only paper like that far down and we have our oh this is our first hidden journaling card for an extra large journal i used a flash card on the inside with no paper on the back and even if I hadn't turned that over, I wouldn't have realized it was a hidden journaling card. Okay. So, and a little button collage going on up here and place to write there. Of course, you can write on here and then you have this pocket. And then on this side, you have... Is this another one? No, this one's just a large tag. Some of the note paper there collaged and then we have a flip up pocket page here in the center and you've got a stack of note note and this fits inside here this is a page of plates and i cut all the circles out and there's one of the roses from the kit and this is a file card so you you cut that and I'm gonna have to go back and see how I did that <laughs> I don't remember how I did that um, here's another there's another piece of the uh, paint chip and we have a playing card attached and it doesn't feel it's oh this is the this is from the card box because you know it was it was a junk journal so I was using everything there's a, a roller for nickels and tickets to make a stack of tuck okay and then another time card tag and it's got a little goodie there some more of the antique stickers I got a little goodie here and then this is a triple it's got three cards and it's a little triple note and the rocking horse the hat and the um, scarf are from the antique sticker set so it's, so it's a little folio a little file folio fits right in there and let's see the size is one two three four five six seven eight nine it's nine by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's nine by eleven and like a quarter nine by eleven by a quarter and a quarter it's a quilt book and then the spine is looks like two and three quarters inches it's got five signatures in it it has, right now, it has a hitch post fastener with just a, a hair tie on it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so now we're on the other side. We've got a little tag and a tag in our wrapping paper and a flip-flop and on this flip-flop i added this paper so you'd have something interesting to look like look at over there so it's nine by eleven and a quarter and this is the other side of the wrapping paper and then you've got a couple of 
papers here. Some washi on here. I did do, uh, I cut my pages with um, lace edging on some of them just for something different. There's Tootsie Pop and, and a crossword puzzle and dictionary and washi tape and yellow paper on the other side. And then this um, has two places that you can put things. And I put this in there. Okay, it's a page out of the mat, out of the book. This is a 12 by 12 page and it has attached to one of the book pages. Okay, so that's how I made, I used the book page and then I attached it to 12 by 12 paper that was cut down to fit. Okay, added some lead, or edging there. We've got ledger and ledger and paper and paper. And then this has a fabric flip, a flip. There's several pages of no paper. And then underneath it, it had has a pocket that has a tag. Now, the way that this journal um, challenge was, it was ensemble. So this page was an ensemble and you had certain things that you had to put on your page ensemble and that had to be in it. And so, um, yeah, so that's how, that's how this one was. It was, I don't remember how many page ensembles. So here's another page out of the book. This one is attached with washi. Okay, so I had my two big washies and I probably have the two pages um, and they might have been compromised a little bit in the center. So I used that. This is probably one of my favorite things that I made for this. It was from the um, photo album. I went ahead and pulled up these two places where usually it would separate the, the things. And I was able to put this picture in. Um, from this is from children of the field children in the fields and then we have our little flippy there and then we have a pocket here and a pocket here that you can add add something to it and so this is how it comes out okay so you can write on the back of that if you want to and this was a photo album page um, and then it's attached to book page. <laughs> it's, it's got book page, book page and book page. <laughs> and then it has image from the, the kit. It has the, um, doily. Okay, so when we get to 30, we'll do a drawing for a digital one sheet and some noisy paper and graph paper that has lined paper on the other side. And in the center, you have this page from the um, red, white, and blue children and flowers digital. And that fits in this pocket and it is on wallpaper and that flips out and so does that there's like just, oh and there's a page under there too and so this was um the cover of the ledger this green piece was the cover of the ledger and i went ahead and turned it into a page in here um so over on this side this is attached and until you fold it, it's, it's just attached and going to be flat. So over here we have a little cluster that includes an envelope 
And in the envelope, you've got a Tootsie Roll match matchbook style note paper. You have the edge of a, oh, that's right. The edge of a um, envelope and it's got gnome, <laughs> it's got gnome in it. Okay. And then you've got vacation and you have this cute little tag that has a little card from a time card. And then this flips and you've got this large page that has been attached on the inside and it is from the red, white, and blue children and floral. And this is the center of, of that. This is another page from the book. And again, I've done the lace edging and it just, it's a quilt book. So it has really great background. I think there'll be great background images. This flips over. So there are um, digitals of making this whole journal. And I will put the playlist in the description box down below. I didn't do it yet. <laughs> I forgot. And But it's a last year's June 2022 junk journal challenge and it was a just junk journal challenge but it had it had rules this is a fun little card and it just fits right in here and this page here um that's the the white part and it has large washi covering it and this is a little flip there We've got some more of my dad's yellow paper and we just added this and that so lots of places that you can write and add things to this here we have another packaging and this one has the collage page with a little collage tag topper and you can write on the back and look at that great quilt that's underneath so this journal is going to be for sale i will have it in um, friday's fun day it will go um, up for sale there. Um, it'll be offered to the Patreons first on Thursday. So if it's still available, it'll be there. Then we have a coloring book page as this piece. And more pages. Another tag. And large. So, oh, this was fun. This was a uh, tag. Um, so this, this back piece is a dad's bank envelope. And then a tag that has a playing card that's holding a game card. That's got a bingo thingy on it. And then this one with the coupon. And then up here, um, it has this little piece that's hanging down and this is all tied together with the little the little silver tie um this bow was on something and it had the silver tie with it and so i went ahead and just used that and um i did coffee dye the back of a couple of the 12 by 12 pages so this one has um plastic underneath it from uh, plastic lace coffee dye. This one has a giant lace pocket and it has this in the lace pocket. And this is, oh, there's, there's one of the net goodies. So this is the net that, um, that the kitty loves. I thought I put one up here <laughs> to use. She might have gotten it. She might have already stole it. Lucy steals the net. Another large tag with this one has a little stamp hanging off of this. There's a little file folder here 
that you can write on the inside. Again, there's videos of everything in here last June. Okay. And this one, there's another one of the, the 12 by 12, nine clusters. We collaged nine clusters on a 12 by 12. This is, um, Wow, I did it again. I'm going to have to look. Oh, I think. Oh, okay, looking at that, I just went ahead and cut that. And then it had that. Okay. I know what I did now. You know, that was a long time ago. So this is an envelope from a uh, privacy envelope. And I added this little edge here. And apparently they're... Um, inside the window did a little collage with the cluster here and then we have a large tag with another little file folder some more of the big mama paper and a hanging tag the hanging tags have been kind of fun in this one um, this has a double places two pockets so double pocket I think this is a double edge pocket here I think this might be one of the first times we did a double edge pocket. Um, so this is from the uh, Something Special digital kit. And I went ahead and folded that. And we've got a playing card. And it's got the little kid's lawnmower from the sticker sheet. Remember I did the buttons on little button <laughs> embellishments. I did a bunch of them. One of One video was a bunch of different little things like that okay and then this one has another library card with um, this was some vintage ribbon that I had okay and then that just goes right in there and this was a looks like a build a pocket oh look at what we got here Ha! We've got a little note paper made out of the ice coupons, which the ice coupons are with this in the something special um, digital kit. And you also get the the um, the cover for the kit for the ice the ice thingies. Okay, so that goes like that, that goes like that, and it lives in there. So this is an eight and a half by 11 paper. And, oh, we've got a large pocket here. Large pocket. Got a really large pocket here with nothing in it. Little collage there on some ledger paper and more pages, more coloring book, wrapping paper, huge doily, another book page from the quilting book, and that is the fourth signature. This is the fifth signature, and it starts off like the first one, and it has this little, um, oh, that's part of the pocket. Oops, <laughs> don't pull it out, it's part of the pocket. And this has note paper on the back, Okay, and that lifts up. This comes over. This is Dad's bank envelope little folio. You've got a little library card inside the pocket there. You've got a fan, and you can put something under there. And then here, peeking behind the basket weave, we use strips and did the basket weave and you've got this little bookmark hidden behind there. So if you don't know about dad's bank envelope, there's several ways that we use dad's bank envelope. It was um, the template that I got was the last time I took my dad to the bank. Um, and they gave him this, we went to the drive-thru and they gave him this envelope and I was like, oh, that's so cool. And so I took it apart 
and um, I've <laughs> I've used it several in several digitals. It's been in some of the freebies, and I did do a um, I measured it and told the dimensions in one of them as well. So here we go. This was an envelope. We've got two of the little buttons. Um, made out of the bingo markers here and this one the ribbon is stapled and then you just go ahead and use that to close that and you just pop that up and we have an envelope with a file card in it and there's your image on that side and you can write on the other side I'm gonna cut this down no I'm gonna I'm gonna round the corners of it Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. And this was um, lace paper from um, Sarah or Sarita. And it is a belly band, a gigantic card in my belly band. Isn't that pretty? I love it. <laughs> and of course, this is the flower from my mom's um, stash. She had painted, there's um, several flowers on there that she'd painted. And I got to use those. I've used them in a couple of digitals. Okay, then we've got this. Oh, I love this. Look at that beautiful lace that was in my stash. Um, and here I used a Tim Holtz flower just to bring in something a little different. It was really fun to add um, the fabric that Big Mama had given me. Um, and then this is from the wallpaper book. It was the fabric sample. That matches the wallpaper okay so this is <clears throat> a large book it's just giving you ideas <clears throat> for pages and ephemera when you have a large book um, I do have one of my most watched videos is uh, making pages for odd size pages Enjoy the little things. And then we have a double tuck. So here's my gigantic envelope. And it's a fold over envelope. Okay, so I folded it over, but then I cut it. So there's a place that something can go here. And, um, Oh no, it is an envelope. I made it. You guys, it is an envelope. I closed it though. And then I cut it. And then I put that down there. So it's like a regular double tuck. But it is the um, center of this signature. There's no signature ties here. And we have another little tag. See, the signature tie just came out <laughs> from the envelope. And then we've got this time card. It has this extra little pocket. There's a little collage on here. And this part of the collage is a pocket that will hold that little tag. And I have another time card. And this one just has this collage with the bench. Because this was back when I was putting benches in all my journals. And there we go. That just fits in there. And then here we just have some fun things. There's this little piece is connect, is is glued down. And then this is glued down as a border. You see you've got the the kids over here. Um, their, their partners are cut off <laughs> because my printer cut them off. And but I still use them. I was still able to use them.
And then here is my flip-flop folio, okay? So I've got, and there's a giant pocket here that you can put something in. Okay, so we've got this piece, which is the 12 by 12, that's gonna be holding stuff over here as well. And it's got a flap on it. It does not open there, but it does open here. So you could put something in there. This opens so that you can write on there. And then this, I did the, um, the ribbon. So here, a tied bow, the antique ribbon techniques. That um, video is linked in the description box down below. This is the in and out. This is the in and out in a corner. And this is the tie. Okay, the tie is my favorite. Um, the bow is really cool, but it's, it's hard work. <laughs> so we have a little card and you see I had cut that image and that gave me that. And then here I had a pocket. Then you came over here and I cut this and you have a place to put something here. And then here I have cut it here and you can put something under there. And then um, I put this in the center and you've got a place that you can put something in there. So this was the flip flop folio. Um, Flip flop folio. Yeah, there you go. With antique uh, ribbon techniques. So a really large tag that again has the note papers under it and has the little piece here. Hi, Dawn, welcome. We're back up to 25. We get to 30 and we'll do a, a drawing. There's an envelope here that um, it's just waiting for something to be put in it. And then this is the one of the uh, needle cases. And I went ahead and um, just glued it to two index cards. So giving you places to write, which is always good. Just added an iris over here to the edge. And then we have a super large pocket here. So this is the coloring book. And the way that it worked is I was able to take the staples out of the coloring book and use the whole coloring book in here because my, remember the, the journal itself is nine by 11. And I believe these are probably eight and a half or nine by 11 and a quarter or 11 and three eighths or something like that. Um, but this fit in here perfectly and I've attached a 12 by 12 page to this so that I would have a full page on the other side and then I've done the wrapping paper pockets again and this one um, where the little holes are on this uh, receipt I went ahead and put eyelets through it and I made a little notepad and it has a little tag topper and some washi here and a, um, a collage on the front. And so that's a wallpaper double pocket. That's pocket number one. This is pocket number two. There's my other hidden uh, journaling card. So this one is done with a um, index card. So I thought you guys, you almost got to see the bookcase that is my hidden journaling card for this month. Um, and it is really different. I did the bookcase and it is, it is really cool. Really, really cool. So that can just go right there. Then here we have a double tuck and this time I've put it onto the page. So you've got your little note paper here that you can use. And you have a note paper here. Hi, Diva. Welcome. Welcome. How many of you have got? 24. When we get to 30, we're going to do a drawing. Um, and then I also did a double tuck back here. Okay. So you can see that there's a few places that still can use a couple little things. Um, 
Again, the large page that is attached with washi because when I took the book apart, like two or three sets of double pages would come out of each signature and I was able to, they, they were compromised where the holes were. They didn't just come out, you know, boom, the, the thread didn't come out. It tore a little bit. So I did use washi. I used um, my wide washi yellow on one side and the red on the other. And I've used it throughout the journal. So um, that has worked out really well. Then I attached um, on the other one. So the pages that came out as a page, it is sliced down or cut and then put onto a 12 by 12 paper and that is cut to fit the pages because the pages obviously are not 12 inches um, here's a guest check and some more yellow paper and then this is another fun little folio thing um, this is yeah this is another hidden journaling card this time I used a guest check so the other large one I used a large flash card and then this one, I used a uh, the guest check. And then I put note paper on the back. And this was a really fun journal to make. Um, it's, it's just, it's big. So it, it takes a little engineering. I have a sweet pea packet here with this little image and then a tag that I had in my stash. And that just fits right in there. And this is from the Eagle Brand Milk advertisement that I used in the kit. That is the Red, White, and Blue Children and Flowers kit. Okay, so now this, this one is the back page. And so it has an eight and a half by 11 paper that is attached to a 12 by 12 paper that's cut down to fit and then after i cut it down i had this piece left so i brought it over here and it became the band um so what's happened here is we have a border tuck using some of the noisy paper this is a uh, one of the tag or two of the tag pages here that i've used from the kit okay so that this is a little greeting card or no playing card greeting card and then I used th so this is on here and then I ripped in so that I could add a tag here but you would still be able to see the the collage and then this is the bookmark so there you go and then this has a belly band and this one it was um, the tag the collaged and then three different cards you can actually see the white under here and I took one of the other postcards and I added it to make it a belly band and then here we have a little mini goodie it's even got this <laughs> In the center using the scraps all the kinds of scraps so again another ice coupon from the something special digital kit I will add the something special um, let me make a note making a note I'm gonna add this something special digital kit and to the to the sale and the bases kit so those are the other two kits that were, um, so I will add those to the 40% off sale through July 5th. And I will also add it to the Patreons. Your um, code is in the Patreon, Patreons. Here is, I added a tuck up here so we can put something in there. And then this has a tuck here. So in your something special, you get the ice, cu ice coupons in several 
different sizes and you get a couple of different de denominations. And then this is wrapping paper with a waterfall note pad inside. Okay, and this page right here was made on um, Dear Julie Julie large tags. Okay, so you see the, the large tag page this was sewn i sewed here here and then up <laughs> and then okay i started here this is what i did i started here i sewed down i sewed across i sewed up i sewed all the way across and i sewed down and down and up okay I had already ripped this, so I had a pocket that was going to work there, okay? Um, so you could do this and have it be a little folded tag that you had, um, but yeah. So again, this challenge, this for this that I made this during, um, it was a... Oh, what do you call it? Ex extravaganza, not extravaganza. Um, what do I call it when they're all to, uh, together? I forget. Um, not embellishment. Oh, gosh. Brain. So this is a doily that I have in my stash. <coughs> and you can write on it. So I just did that. And there's another one of this. This is a cut apart from... Um, a paper pad that was in my mom's stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yep, it was just John and there's a there's a bag here and a pocket here that um also probably would like some things. So, let's see. So, what we made do I want to put yeah, we'll put like we have this that needs to go in here somewhere. It could go in the front. Nah. But we have, towards the back, we had a couple of places where you went, oh, page, 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 page. This is what we made yesterday, the little window shaker. And I'm gonna put this in here and make it a, a little tuck spot. Ensembles, thank you, Bonnie, ensembles. So you had a list of things to make for a page and to add into the page. And um, I'm going to put glue on this part, too. Yeah, so that particular, it was a Just Junk Journal challenge. So, and we had to use something old, something new, something lacy, something blue. No. Let's see. And a Dear Julie Julie Digital, too. That's what it was. Okay. There we go. So our little house is in here. And yeah, it's, I mean, using because what it, I don't I'm trying to remember what all I used in this one I don't remember okay so these um you know I'm doing a red white and blue and so I think I'm going to put these in the red white and blue journal that I'm making I just I don't think that these need to but they'll, they'll be good embellishments. So these were the, from yesterday's video. So I will, I will hold those aside and 
put those along with this little goodie. And we're going to make a little red, white, and blue journal. Not necessarily patriotic, but red, white, and blue. Okay. But the little house, I just think the little house really goes in here. And I'm probably going to make a list journal, so I don't need the big, big thing. So now in here, I have some more embellishments that are already made that we can add in here. And then I have some more red, white, and blue stuff that I can add to something else. Okay. We're at 26 again. Oh, we'd love to see it. Especially your journal, your videos are hilarious. I love watching your videos, Big Mama. Okay, so back here we had places that needed things. Well, what if we go ahead and put this up here? This this came from um, Jessica that I'm a cool mom uh, or paper terrace. I'm just going to put those in like that. Then I have that and I'll put it in here. So these were all also made back during that time. This is a card that Bonnie had sent me. And I'm going to keep it because it is an eight of hearts. <laughs> I, I made it for, for this and then I'm like, no, it's an eight of hearts. I need to keep it for me. Yeah, I I think I do that sometimes too, Tommy. <laughs> like, mmm. Okay. If it if it went from both across both, that would be cool, but it doesn't. But I like the color. Okay. Let's go ahead and Okay, so this, this one needed a goodie. Oh, that's a... No, we don't want to put... We want something real simple to go in there because it's the wallpaper. Or wrapping paper. Nope, too big. Oh, no, it fits. Okay. I don't, I, I just want to add the things that are already made. And then, do you think it needs stenciling? Should I go through and stencil in it? What do you guys think? Some of these more blank pages, or do we like it blank? Because, you know, that blank is not usually <laughs> in my uh, vocabulary. right i usually have to do something to everything okay here i have a paper clip and i am going to paper clip this to this page there we go it says glorious there we go and we still have the flip. I love this in here. I think that turned out to be a really cool page. Okay. It's beautiful the way it is. Maybe add some. <laughs> Tough call. I like a bit of stenciling, but blank can be nice too. 
the, the thing is, is once I start stenciling it, it's like I, I have to stencil it. Okay, so this is, this has got enough that I think this could go on one of those where there's several blank pages in a row, like we did the house. Okay, so like there's... There's this, okay, there's that, that, so these are blank, which that actually would pull. Cool. Blank, 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 blank. <laughs> um, it could, I mean, it is a tag, so it could just be a tag, like, There, that, that takes care of some blank. There we go. Um, this is from the Christmas, the little Christmas music pay, uh, kit. Okay, we've got, okay, oh, okay, so this does not need to go in here, but this is what I made, <coughs> excuse me, in the VIP, I believe, with, how does it, how does it go? Oh, it comes out the bottom, okay. This was made in the VIP for, I think, for yellow birds, red roses, has this little piece coming down off of here onto there. You've got that little piece. You've got this. And all of that is a paper clip. We're going to put that right over there. I'm not going to put that in here. It doesn't need... Oh, look at that. That needs to go in here. <laughs> definitely. Def, def, definitely. Find a... Oh, yeah. I like that. That looks cute. Hi, Francis. Oh, using the, oh, look at this one has paper glued into it and then hanging out the outside. You know what? We needed something in here. And then we'll just put this piece behind it. And then we'll cut around this one. I don't like the way that is up there. We'll cut that. Oh, I've been, you guys, I've been throwing things over the, over the, <laughs> over the edge. They were sitting there just about to fall. Hi, Sheila. I don't know if I said hello. Hello, Sheila. So July, we will be doing Just Junk again. So you, if you have time, you might want to go look at Just Junk Journal challenges from, um, they're usually January, June, and July um, 
sometimes I do June and sometimes I do July. So different kids. So that's, that's good. Okay. So I've got these left and I have these two little note papers left. So let's find them a home. Um, so these I like to rip. Okay, so now going to those places that have a lot of pages that have nothing and adding, adding the cluster. I like that it has this stuff in it because it, you know, originally was a quilting book. I'm going to put it there. We'll use this one. <laughs> Accidentally inked is your jam. Oh my gosh. I, I that's one of that's not my jam i don't like okay i know you can you can come out <laughs> come out come out wherever you are Let's see if we get get here nope i'll use a pen wow so i'm trying to pull the sticky out See if we get air. Yes. These little bottles are harder to manage for me. Ah, uh, how about accidental glue? <laughs> Talking about accidental ink. Okay, we'll come over here and we'll put that right there. So several ways to add. That's so awesome that your grandkids are there. April, did your company, um, did they leave? You guys, I usually have to cover everything. I usually have to put something on every page. So, you know, it, it could still happen. <laughs> okay, this one needed something. This little envelope. Now it's got its little something. Let's go towards the front because I think that's... We haven't made it back to the front to see if anything anything needed anything in the front. I think I want to make a pocket for the front. Um, but I, I'm, um, I'm going to have to get off here in just a couple minutes because I told my friend that I would come over. She's um, making lunch for the missionaries that are visiting well they're not vis they're they're here for a while for at our church um and it's awesome they're they're teaching our bible study so they are uh, from from mexico and our um i i'm part of the largest catholic church uh congregation 
in like well it's the largest in Los Can Los Angeles County one of the largest in the United States and okay I'm not putting those in there you guys I I'm a little I don't want to rip anything so <laughs> so we've got a couple extra little goodies to put in Anyway, um, on Wednesdays, see, we have three missions to our church. And on Wednesdays, they come and they, they do a Bible study for us. And it's, I've only gone once. I went the week before we went on vacation. I really liked it. It is going straight through the Bible, starting the very beginning in that order beginning to end and um so i'm i'm gonna be doing i'm doing that so when they are here on wednesday they have asked us to um if we can to invite them to our home for lunch and so it's nora's turn today and she asked if I'd come over. It's like, sure. Sure, sure. I'm going to just put that. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't know where it's at, though. Yeah, we'll just put that right there. There we go. There we go. I like this. So, um, I'm going to go through my things. And... And see, oh, there it is. So this is, see Lucy has eaten it. And that's, that's what you've seen me use on the Thai things lately. Yeah, so, yeah, so that like this little piece, this is from a 12 by 12. See, it has the full piece over here. Okay, the full piece is over here. And then um, I made a little flippy thing here. <laughs> right. A top flop, right? <laughs> okay, so up here at the top of the desk, I have some wired garland. And I'm just going to put that on here. Oh, maybe not. Well, I've never had, I've never had that. Have you ever had that happen? I have never had any of my garland do that before. It must have been at the end of it, right? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah, so our Bible study will be tonight, and then but then then we do we'll do lunch, and they have other things that they do during the day while they're here. They've got um, appointments that they're meeting with people and 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 doing stuff, and so um, yeah. And the, you know, the timing is, is good for me. I need to, I need to be back in the word and I can be distracted, which is one of the too easily. <laughs> I can be, I can be very easily distracted. So, um, and the way that the whole thing came about that I'm going is I thought Tom told them that I would come. What he told them was he was not interested, but talk to, talk to his wife. She would probably go or something like that. Well, that's not how I heard it. <laughs> I thought he told him I'd go and I was like, oh, so you told him I'd go. So I guess I'm going. So I kind of. I kind of don't like that these um, 
flip and flop. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip them and then I'll put that collage piece in and it can be the hold them down. Yes. Yes, when we get older, flips do get harder. <laughs> okay. I'm concentrating. I took more off this one than I wanted to. You can't bend to start. Me neither. In my back, I am not. There is no way I'm not even going to pretend like I'm going to flip. Okay. So we're going to put this like. You know, if I do it where I just put a line of glue down the center of it, it can hold those in and it can hold something over here also. So that is what I'm going to do. And we'll use the, yeah, no cartwheels for me either. Heck, today I watched a video and it was this roller coaster that's up on this mountain. And it's one of those ones like where you go over, you go up and then you can't even see as it turns to go down until you're like going down. I used to, I loved roller coasters. There is no way I'm ever going to go on one again because I don't want to not be able to walk. <laughs> the Olympic Journal Challenge. Well, we have a, a year or two for that, right? How many years? How many? <laughs> when's the next one? Next year? When's the next Olympics? Let's see, 80, 84, 88, 92, 96, 2000, 2004, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. That's the only way I can figure it out. <laughs> Okay, well, that'll kind of hold them. Yeah. Oh, we need to put something under there to help it. <laughs> to help it. Okay. Where are... There they are. My baking chairs. Oh, I hope, you know what? I didn't even go and check the truck and make sure that it will um, start. We haven't used it since we got back. Maybe I won't be going. I totally forgot that I don't have a car right now. The part got sent to Florida. Bye, Bonnie. Have fun. Okay. There we go. Okay, and then it has that space on the other side that, it, that if I find something that should go there, I can put something over there. Like maybe like that. That was easy. Bye, Leanne. 
Okay, well, here we go. And, um, yeah, so I will be thinking, finding something to use for the signature ties and a pocket. And then decide about, it's getting kind of thick, so I really don't want to add any more um, embellishments to it. I don't, yeah, I'm not going to add any more. And I do need to fix this because I just used um, a hair tie that I had that was already, <laughs> already de-stretched. So, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So I think I'm going to, excuse me, I'm going to work on the red, white, and blue journal. And, oh, and I do, um... I do need to make the rest of my embellishments, like the 3D one and the, yeah, so. So that will be coming. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing, amazing day and that uh, you'll be back tomorrow. So I, what did I, oh, you, you might have seen, I made a, I made my triangle tuck. It's an easy one. So I have that video um, for a day that I can't be live. And so, yeah. So Maryland and Indiana. Virginia. I'm in California, Southern California, in the desert, where I'm actually, you guys see, I'm wearing... A sweatery jacket thing today because I'm cold and it did say that it was going to be like 49 degrees as the low and um, yeah and I, I open my door in the morning if I don't leave it the back door um, so that the cool air will come in and I'll cool the house off for the day. Yeah, so there you go. This is my extra large journal, my extra large junk journal. And um, we'll hopefully see it in the shop uh, Friday. And Patreons, you will see it on Thursday. So, <clears throat> yeah, but... There you go, using the um, children, red, white, and blue, children and flowers, digital, the, the Christmas music pages, the basic um, pages, digital kit, and uh, there was some of the red roses, yellow birds in here. So I'm gonna add that to the list. I'm gonna add the something special, which is the ice coupons and library cards kit. And I think it might even have birds in it, blue birds. Cause it's got the something old, something new. Um, and I think it has blue birds in it, but I don't remember <laughs> for sure. It's over 120 digitals that I have. It's hard to remember what everybody has. Um, and you can find those digitals in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop right now, the red, white, and blue. And then these other ones that I've um, mentioned are on sale for 40% off. There you go. Okie dokie, you guys, um, I'm going to actually going to go and I hope you all have an amazing day. Find something to celebrate every day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.